In this overview, we'll look at the model inspired by John Neff and the value model he developed, which is built on decades of experience and outperforming the market. The key fundamental investing insight is this. Investors sometimes overlook the importance of strong dividends and something called the total return ratio in beating the market over the long term. At a high level, the strategy looks for stocks with PEs that are between 40 to 60% of the market average. From there, it looks for firms with steady, sustainable EPS growth and positive cash flows. The source and the evidence behind the strategy, we base this on John Neff's book, John Neff on Investing. From 1964 to 1995, John Neff guided the Windsor Fund to a 13.7 average annual return, easily outpacing the S&P's return of 10.6% during that period of time. 3.1 percentage points of difference over such a long period of time makes a huge difference in compounding of returns. The investment thesis for this model is this. Looking at a firm's total return to P.E. ratio, which considers both the dividend yield and earnings growth rate, can be a superior method relative to standard valuation metrics and a way of identifying undervalued firms. Let's now take a look at Validia's low P.E. investor model, which is based on the methodology outlined in John Neff's book, John Neff on Investing. The first step in the model is to identify value stocks. To do that, the model looks for stocks that trade at a 40 to 60% discount to the market based on their P.E. ratios. Then it tries to find stocks with realistic long-term growth. The sweet spot here, especially for dividend paying stocks, is to look for stocks that have long-term earnings growth of between 7 and 20% over a long period of time. The model also looks at future growth. So it wants to see future sales and profit growth be reasonably healthy for the companies. Here it looks at analyst earnings consensus estimates, both the current year and long-term earnings estimates, and it wants them to be at least 6%. It also wants to see long-term sales growth of at least 7%. The key ratio in the model is the total return ratio. This brings together three key investing metrics, EPS growth, the dividend yield, and the price earnings ratio. So what the total return does is it takes EPS growth and adds that to the dividend yield and then divides that by the P.E. ratio. What it looks for is it wants to see stocks that have a total return ratio of at least double the market. This was one of the key metrics that Neff used in his investment process. And lastly, there's two bonus criteria. The model favors companies with free cash flow, and it also wants to see EPS persistence, which is looking at the last four quarters of earnings and looking to see that those earnings have increased over the same quarters in the previous year. The low PE investor model provides value investors with a way to take into consideration both EPS growth and dividends into their assessment of investment opportunities in today's market.